Hey everyone, in this video we are going to talk about slopes of perpendicular and parallel lines. We are working on IXL S25 on Algebra 1 uh, section. So in this question we have a line with a slope of 3 over 7. This is called line E and then line F is going to be perpendicular. The question is about the slope of line F. So one thing to keep in mind is if the lines are parallel, they have the same slope. Some examples are 3 and 3, uh, 1 fourth and 1 fourth. One more example, negative 2 seventh and negative 2 sevenths. These are part of the parallel lines, slopes, examples. So another concept is having perpendicular lines in this case they are going to be negative reciprocal negative reciprocal slopes means if one slope is positive 2 the other one is going to be opposite side or opposite reciprocal some say it says opposite reciprocal for this uh, change the sign and flip that 2 over 1 and end up with 1 over 2 because 2 and 2 over 1 is the same another example is negative 3 over 5 and positive 5 over 3 another example is negative 1 and positive 1 so because this one is negative 1 over 1, and when you flip that one, you end up with 1 over 1 still. So these are our examples. Now our keyword in here is we have perpendicular two lines. One of them has a slope of 3 over 7. The other one is going to be negative 7 over 3. So this would be our answer. Moving on to the next level. Let's see what kind of questions we are going to get if it's going to get any harder or if it's going to be the same. Okay, the equation of line B is this. And the equation of line C is that one right here. Our question is about whether these two lines are parallel or perpendicular. If they are parallel, their slopes are the same. If they are perpendicular, they are negative reciprocal or opposite reciprocal. The slope of the first line is negative 6 over 5 because this is y equals mx plus b. The number in front of x is the slope, which is negative 6 over 5. The slope of the second line is negative 2 over 7. Are they the same? They do not they do not like uh, they do not look like the same at all. Are they negative reciprocal? They do have the same sign. They cannot be negative reciprocal. So they are not perpendicular. And the numbers are not flipped. So this would be neither. Okay, moving on to the next level. Let's do one more example in the previous level. And then I will get back to the upper level. Okay. Uh, we have line C. If you write the keywords as much as you can and then make a list of the things that you know about those ones that makes it easier and then line D it says perpendicular to C so this one here is perpendicular so these two lines are going to be perpendicular that sign upside down T means perpendicular so what is the slope of line D? If they are perpendicular, that means I need to flip the sign, turn it into positive, and flip the fraction, turn it into 3 over 7. So this would be my answer. So now we can move on to, let's do one more from the same level. Okay. Line U passes through these two points. That's my line U. It has two points, 2, 1, and 9, 5. And line V is parallel to line U. There's line V. These two are parallel. That means 
uh, their slopes are going to be the same. Whatever the slope of line U would be the same as line V, which is what my question is. My question is figure out the slope of line V. So to be able to figure the slope of this guy over here, I need to figure the purple one out. So this can be done. We learned about this. We didn't learn about it. We went through it uh, two weeks ago. It was y2 minus y1 that represents the rise over x2 minus x1 that represents the run. So subtract the y values. 5 minus 1 divided by 9 minus 2. Numerator is 4, denominator is 7. So the slope of line u is 4 over 7. Since the lines are parallel, their slopes would be the same. So this one would have the same slope, 4 over 7. So now I believe we can move on to the upper level. Okay, line V passes through these two points. W is perpendicular. Okay, it's pretty much the same. Let's get to it. We have two lines. The one is, the first one is line V. Uh, what we know about this guy here is it has two points. X1, Y1, X2 and y2 so let's do y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1 or the 4 minus 82 divided by negative 7 minus negative 13 so if you subtract the numbers in the numerator you will end up with 38 divided by if you subtract the numbers in the denominator you are going to end up with negative 20 these two numbers can be simplified. They are both divisible by, let me see, 2. The one at the top is 19. The one in the bottom is negative 10. So that's the slope of the first line. Now there's another line, line W. Let's work on that one. All we know about this line W is that it is perpendicular to V. So if these two are perpendicular, what I need to do to find the slope of this one is flip the other one and change the sign from negative to positive. So this would be my final answer for this question. Okay, that's all for this video, guys. Thanks for watching. Leave a thumbs up if you liked the video or if it helped you out to get the assignment done. Uh, subscribe to the channel if you didn't do so. And thanks for watching. I will see you in another video.